Aloha! I'm Abaya and I will be sharing a short sequence to connect the rib cage to the pelvis for intelligent use of our core. Um, we will start on our back. So shift the hips off to the right and pivot towards the left. So you can slowly recline onto the back and just take a moment to let the back of the neck lengthen, wiggle the hips around, allow the shoulder blades to broaden so you can connect with the earth. And we'll start with a little bit of core work. And so um, just start to curl the left knee into the chest, grab around the knee and gently kick the leg into the hands, letting the back of the hip muscles turn on. And then do the same thing at your own pace to the inner thigh, the quad, the outer thigh. And then reach to either side of the foot and slowly curl up, squeezing the thigh up towards the core. And recline, reach arms overhead. And do this a couple times on your own. Don't worry about lifting very high and see if you can keep the muscles in the neck nice and relaxed. So it's really just the muscles between the rib cage and the pelvis doing the work. The next time you recline, bring the right hand to the outer left thigh. Connect and let those squeeze together to activate the core. And very slowly start to point the knees to the right. Let the rib cage come with you. So you're not coming into a deep twist, but rather you're rolling onto the right side, the left fingertips tent overhead, and then draw a big circle overhead with the left hand. As you do this, allow the arm to pull on the shoulder and allow the rib cage to pull on the pelvis. So you return to the back with no strain and we'll repeat that again. So curl up and recline. Right hand to outer thigh, squeeze. Gently roll onto the right side, left hand follows. Big circle with the left hand. Let the left hand pull directly on the hip so there's no strain in the shoulder and not too deep of a twist. One last time. You can connect with the breath if that feels natural or just continue to breathe at your own pace. The next time we're on our back, cross the left leg over the right, open the arms to T, and just draw some nice big circles with the legs. Grab behind the legs, curl up, extend the legs and kick them forward to roll up just for a moment. Plant the hands beside you and slowly lower the knees to the right any amount and then to the left. And then uncross the legs, extend them forward, bend the knees and just melt over the legs for one moment. And then slowly kick into the heels, unfurling the whole body. Draw the feet underneath the knees and we'll do that same thing on the second side. So start by Grabbing behind the right thigh this time. Kick into the hands. Feel the muscles on the back of the thigh and the back of the hip engage. And then go through that same process all the way along the leg on each side of the hip. Letting more and more support gently turn on. And then reach to either side of the foot. Curl up, squeezing thigh into belly and lifting to meet it and recline arms overhead two more times on your own. Make sure you can breathe. The next time you recline, bring the left hand outside of the right thigh, reach the right arm to a T, squeeze thigh and hand together, and then slowly point the knees to the left and let the rib cage follow until the right hand touches down in front of you. Draw a big circle with the right hand and you'll feel it pull the heart open and then let it pull the hip back to where you came from. And we'll repeat that sequence two more times. Starting with the crunch, recline, left hand to thigh, slowly rolling to the side. Big circle. Imagine the hand just connecting right into that right hip so everything moves together. Last time, crunch, recline, twist, big circle.
And now cross the right leg over the left, arms to T. Draw some circles with the hips, just giving yourself a little massage. And then grab behind the thighs. Curl up, extend the legs and kick them forward up to seated. Plant the hands and just take a nice Tick tock from side to side, massaging through the glutes and letting the outer leg lines lengthen. Uncross the legs, extend them for a moment, pause in Dandasana, sitting upright, and then bend the knees and melt the body over the thighs, lengthening from the low back all the way up to the skull. Kick into the heels, rising up. And that's our sequence.